Hey everybody, welcome to the next video in our Get Monitoring series. In this video, we're going to cover a super powerful tool called the Bulk Host Cloning and Import Wizard. It's a great thing when, first, if you're setting up monitoring in your organization for the first time and you've got hundreds if not thousands of hosts to get up and monitoring, the second thing it can be super helpful for is when you're migrating from another solution to Nagios XI, it will allow you to take old information that you already have sitting around and get it right into Nagios XI. Let's jump into the interface. Okay, so here we are. We're right on the Configuration Wizards page. You're going to find it here near the top. You are also able to search for it if you want, and there it is. So we'll click here. This brings us to step one. In step one, we're going to identify the machine that we're going to base everything on. So for this example, we're going to clone one Windows box and it's already configured. It's got all the monitoring already set up for it. So I go down the list, I select it and I go to next. Here in step two, we've got two important parts. We have the top part and the bottom part. So our host template is this machine here. And we want to select which ones of these services we're also going to monitor on the cloned machines. Um, so this is everything that's being monitored on the host that we are using as a template. So we're going to check all of those and it will monitor the big five, the basic things that you'll need for this example. But anything that you had previously configured on this host, however it was configured, that configuration will be reflected under select service templates there. Here down at the bottom, this takes some explaining. So I'm gonna grab a file to drop in here and I'll be right back for that. Okay, I've got my file ready and we're gonna take a look at this. This is really where the rubber meets the road. This is where it happens. So we're in this section here, import and cloning data. You've got this text box here that will accept the information and then we've got these drop downs and these different fields. So the first thing that I think is important for you to know is that you really only need the one field to continue to progress through here, but you can add additional information in other fields if you like. So let's just run it with this one field. So here is a list and it works just like a, a CSV file. Right, and then I can just paste this list right in. When I hit next, it'll take me to the next step of the process and you could be done. This list could be a hundred items long, it could be a thousand items long. Um, it's gonna need to be you know, the same type as our host template and we're gonna check these same things. But as long as that's true, this list can be as long as you like. Now, if you wanna do multiple fields, like say you're trying to migrate from a different solution to Nagios XI and you were able to output a CSV from your previous database, um, any comma in here, whether you add it here or uh, you open your thing with a, you open your file with a text editor, anything like that, that is going to move you to the next field. So the comma here, now we wouldn't put address again, but you could put name, you could put description, host group, or parent host. Here's the thing, you don't have to specify those if everything is gonna match what the host is. So if it's gonna have the same parent and it's gonna be in the same host group and it's the same type of box monitoring the same services, then all you have to do is put this stuff in. If it is gonna have a different parent or it's going to be part of a different host group, but you uh, are otherwise you're all the same as your uh, the host that you're cloning, and you're going to use the same services. That's where you would use the comma, or you would copy and paste things that are comma separated, and then you could define these other fields. But as I say, you don't have to right off the bat. So we'll go to next, and every wizard has five steps. Three, four, and five in this wizard pretty simple. Um, basically, it's going to say that monitoring options are going to be inherited from the host that we chose to clone from. And we go to the next um, notification is step four, inherited. And then step five, group membership, inherited. But again, back at 
the text box where you can put in the commas and additional values, that's where you could change that per host if you wanted. Other than that, we click next and we click apply and it's good to go. So that's the quick view of the bulk host cloning and import wizard, super powerful. Any questions, catch us on the forum or give us an email at sales at nagios.com. Thanks so much.